folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. What I thought I'd do, I've got about a month of time here before I have to go to another event. I have to go to SHOT Show in January in Las Vegas. So I've got about a month that I can play around with trapping. And I trapped coyotes early in the season, got a couple coyotes, but I don't want to mess with trapping any more coyotes this year. I want to let them lay for the next year so that I can have another trapping class out here. So what I thought I'd do is practice my smaller game trapping and concentrate on water trapping for things like mink and raccoon around the water's edge areas. There's an area right here where there's a, a drain coming out of this bank and it's undercut all the way through there, comes out here and comes into a bigger area of water drainage. So mink are going to travel down this and it's pretty constricted right here already and they're going to travel in that water. They're not going to try to walk on the side of the hill. They're going to walk right down the center of this to get to this water area. That's the way mink hunt. They hunt along the edges of the water. So I'm gonna put a 110 right here, and it's gonna be a really, really simple set. And I think that's the greatest thing about the 110 trap is how simple it is to set up. There are lots and lots of old beaver chews laying right here. It's not gonna be very hard for me to find something to use. So I'm going to get this trap open and get it set real quick. And I'm going to hold on to it to make sure it doesn't snap my hand in the process. You can see that came undone. So if I would have let go of that thing, my hand had been in that trap for sure. Okay, that's all I really need. Now, I can set that thing right here in the center of this really easy. And all I need to do is tack it down somehow because it's a killing trap. So once the animal gets in there, he's not getting out of it. So I can take anything I can shove in the ground... See how sensitive that trap is? I hung it right there on that stick when I was putting it in. It's okay. I'll just get it ready again. Okay. Get our stick we had in our hand to use here. There it is. And I'm just going to shove it down this spring hole if it's big enough shove it right into the ground, right in the center of this wash, just like this, and just let it set there. Get it squared up and centered good, just like that. Like I said, it's a killing trap. This animal's not going anywhere. If I'm worried about it, I can take a quick link or anything like that and chain it up and chain it up to something up here on top. But with mink and things like that, I don't worry about it. Once they're in this trap, they're not going anywhere. They're going to be dead. They're not going to carry the stake off. I'm not sure how steady I can hold this, but there's a close-up of that trap from far away. And it's set right in the center of that ravine coming down through into this larger waterway here. And that mink will travel right down the center of that trail to get to this deeper water, and we'll have him. 